Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel. In this Lightroom tutorial, I'll show you two techniques for creative selective color in Lightroom. We'll make our image black and white and just have selected areas in color. Let's get started. This is an image from the Grand Canyon. I picked this photo because it's a good one to show you two different ways to create selective color. You can use either method or both on the same image, which is what I'll do here. So we're going to make everything black and white except for this tree. It's actually quite simple to do. We'll go up to our adjustment brush here near the top of the develop panel. And first I'm going to double click on effect to make sure that all of the sliders are zeroed out. And I'm going to put my flow to 100 and I'm going to leave auto mask checked. And then I'm going to take saturation down to minus 100 and then simply start painting on the image. And you can see that that does change the, everything to black and white, everything we're painting over. And by having the auto mask checked, it does help to stay within the lines, so to speak, so that you're not accidentally painting areas you didn't want to. But this image is rather complicated or, or challenging um, because of all those tiny branches and it's going to be really hard to not make a mistake and have um, you know dealing with all that little bits of blue so I want to show you another technique that might be easier in this type of situation this technique works just beautifully if you have a fairly simple object say something you know with fairly smooth edges um, all the way around you can just do this in a flash so I'm just going to click the Done button and then I'll show you what you can do when you have something that's a little bit more complicated. So I went down to the Hue uh, Saturation and Luminance panel, the HSL panel, and you can see that I had been messing around earlier and I had adjusted the saturation of the orange and the yellow here. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna go down to the History and I'm gonna go back to uh, the beginning so I can undo my previous adjustments. And so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take down individual sliders. Now we especially wanna get rid of the blue sky. So let's just start by moving down the aqua and the blue. And you can see aqua didn't do much, but the blue took out the sky. And I'm also going to move the purple and the magenta. And you can see that there is a little bit of color here on the horizon, some um, probably the oranges and maybe the yellows because I had been, I think I used an adjustment brush here on the horizon earlier. I'm going to go ahead and take down the red. And I don't want to take down the orange or the yellow because if I did, you can see that now the tree looks really funky. So I'm going to hit Control or Command Z to undo that. And so in this instance, we're just going to leave that be because we took care of the difficult part, which was the sky area. And I'm gonna go back up to our adjustment brush and then we'll use the same technique we used before and simply brush out the areas we want to be in black and white. And this will take quick work of it. And it will also deal with that little horizon area. And then if you hit uh, control or command and the plus sign, you can zoom in. And then I can change the wheel on my mouse, make it larger and just move around these areas to get rid of the color. And again, having the auto mask on will be helpful to help you stay where you want to be. And again, if you mess up, you can just hit the, or you have to actually hold down the Alt or the Option key, and then you can reverse what you did. So I'm going to fix this little area right here. 
that I accidentally painted out. And so you can go back and fix any little areas. And by holding down the space bar, you can see that the cursor changes to a hand. So that's helpful for just peering through your image and making sure that you got everywhere. So you can see now that we have this up close um, how much easier it was to just simply take out the saturation in the sky using the HSL sliders. So I'm just going to click done here and I'm going to hit um, control minus to zoom back out. And so you can see how quickly you can just create selective color. Now, this effect looks very interesting on certain images, especially flowers. It doesn't look great on everything, so it's something that you don't want to do on all your photos, but it is a fun technique to have in your pocket. So thanks for watching, and please hit the like button if you found this tutorial helpful. And you can subscribe to my channel to get all of my Lightroom tutorials. I make them regularly. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.